Uh, up next, a new report puts tanning beds into the highest cancer risk category, labeling them a human carcinogen. As dangerous as cigarettes, arsenic, and even asbestos, uh, that's what a new study says about tanning beds. Our Brian Todd is here with more on why uh, experts now say sunbeds definitely cause cancer. Brian, fill us in on this important study. Well, Wolf, the UN's Cancer Research Division is now making its strongest link ever between tanning beds and the different forms of skin, skin cancer like melanoma, which kills more than 8,500 people just in the United States each year. They look enticing for those who want to tan without extended sun exposure. CNN intern Genevieve LeMay is one of the millions who routinely use tanning beds. When I go tanning, I feel good about myself. I have confidence. I look healthy. I feel great. But now the UN's cancer research arm is ranking tanning beds in its top group of cancer-causing substances, right up there with cigarettes and arsenic. An official with the International Agency for Research on Cancer tells CNN people who consistently use tanning beds before the age of 30 increase their risk of getting skin cancer by 75 percent. Now, to illustrate the real effect of tanning beds on the skin, we came to this place called Radiance Med Spa in Washington, D.C. It does medical and aesthetic skin treatments. It's got this digital skin analysis device, almost like an x-ray machine. We're going to test it out with our intern, Genevieve, who does use tanning beds, versus the skin of our intern, Catherine Castellanos, who does not use tanning beds. They each go through the scan. Some very detailed images pinpointing skin damage tell the story. We look at the results with Dr. Howard Brooks, a dermatologist not affiliated with this spa, who the facility allowed to come in as an independent analyst. First, Catherine's results. The fact that she doesn't use the tan beds shows here on this picture. Much less brown spots, much less UV damage. This brown image of Genevieve kind of does reveal the real damage. This is a perfect illustration. This is a, Genevieve is a 20-year-old young woman. She admits to using tanning beds, and this is the result of tanning bed use, as the study indicates. You see all these brown spots here, which indicates UV damage that is directly related to tanning bed use. Does this change your perspective at all? The results were shocking. I mean, I looked horrible, but as much as that's a deterrence, it's, a tanning is addicting, and I don't know if I'll stop going right away. Now, the Indoor Tanning Association, which is an advocacy group for tanning spas, says media reports linking tanning beds to things like cigarettes and arsenic are overhyped. The association has taken out this newspaper ad this week saying indoor tanning, putting in the same category as sunshine, duh. The association says it's always emphasized moderation and that points out that the other, other items in that same category on cancer causers include salted fish. Wolf. Uh, Brian, what about spray tanning? Is, is that as dangerous? Well, Dr. Brooks says it is not, and he recommends people use sprays or lotions. They're not considered as comprehensive, and they don't give you as even a tan as the beds, but they are safer, he says. Good to know. Thanks, Brian.